Good morning guys and welcome to part two of Vlogmas. Get ready for the jingle. So this morning I am up bright and early. Mike has just gone to physio. His alarm went off at like 6.20 this morning with the most antisocial, you know like the toxic waste spill alarm. Not good, so I'm awake. Just got dressed. I haven't got any makeup on yet because I'm filming a makeup video today, but I wanted to show you my jumper because it's festive and I like it. Um, it's a Topshop maternity one that's got glitzy cold shoulder shoulders and it's actually quite skimpy, which means that from the front and black you can't really see the bump too much, but from the side, hello there. The 36 week bump is officially in charge, it's large and in charge. Um, I'm off to wake the hounds up and give them some breakfast because that is what we like to do in the morning. Piglet has already heard me talking to the camera and I can hear her yip yapping. Can you hear her? Little monkey. Good morning! Hello everybody! Look at all these leaves on the floor. You guys are bringing in all the leaves. You got a whole tree in here, Piglet. Hey, should we go out for a wheeze? Good morning, guys. Hey. Looking very appetizing, guys. Nat. I'm gonna go and get my breakfast, which is gonna be a little bit less stinky than your breakfast. Are you coming, Pig? Are you finished? Piglet always gets hers first because she's generally a slower eater. Calendar goodies of the day. Dior Homme fragrance. Did not realize the Dior advent calendar was mixed. Mike is gonna be very excited to get a boy's fragrance. This Molten Brown um, White Truffle Hand Cream. I just tried this and it's so nice. And this cleanser. I never know how to say this brand. Omaravitsa? More Cream Cleanser. Interested to try this one. The funniest things just happens. I've just got a message from my friend um, Jess and her sister Millie, who I also know um, is in Hawaii at the moment on holiday. And they've just sent me this message. It's a picture of a note from a lady they met in the ticket office to go um, up to see the volcano. Um, and they bumped into a subscriber who works there called Claire. If you're watching this, Claire, hi. Um, look, she wrote me a little note that says, Aloha, Fleur. Mahalo for all of your vlogs. Um, you have a fan in the volcano from Claire. <laughs> How cool is that? All the way from Hawaii. I think that's so funny. What are the chances as well of her chatting to my friends? Like, that's so weird. Oh my goodness, I've had a seriously busy morning. I've just finished filming three videos. I'm actually super happy with my makeup. I just filmed a, like a, I want to call it a tutorial, but my bra strap is hanging out in the mirror behind me. Like, did you see it? Busted. Um, it's not really a tutorial. It's more of like a, this is my makeup and this is how I like doing it. And I'm really happy with it. Although I look very, very pale. This light is very bright. Um, but yeah, I have just finished filming and I'm now, um, halfway through the close-ups, but Mike and I are heading off to have a coffee um, and some cake at my friend's new pub. My friend Libby has just opened a pub that she's been working on for months and months and months. So um, we me actually meant to go down last night because it was opening night last night, but Mike didn't get back until nine. So we didn't eat till late. So we're going now. And then I'm gonna come back and film all these close-ups. <laughs> Mike is now very excited that he gets to go to the pub at lunchtime. <laughs> you do realize it's not just a pub, there's a coffee shop as well. So we're going to the coffee shop. Oh. You don't get to booze in the daytime. That's Says Mike pretending to be true. such a boozy lad. Like Mike, Such a lad. You don't drink very much at all. I will not be drinking today on the basis I'm running this evening, so I do not want to Oh, go for a run, go for a run, go for a run. I feel so glam today because I've done my makeup. I'm like, made I've an effort achieved, today, darling. I've made an effort. <laughs> Oh, I feel like this week has been one of those weeks in terms of like, I just have barely even got brushed my hair, let alone put makeup on. Oh, it looks so snazzy. I'm now a little bit jealous that Mike's, Mike got the hot chocolate with all the stuff. I finally finished filming and I sat down um, to put all of my makeup away, all the stuff I've been talking about, and had one of those moments. I think this is what they seriously like talk about when they say you start nesting when you're pregnant. I was just like, I'm gonna clear out all my makeup. So I just spent the last hour and a half just like going through my entire dressing table, throwing away old makeup and organizing my makeup. And I'm not gonna lie, it actually feels great. So I'm feeling super organized and I just got a couple of deliveries 
which I'm going to take over to the kitchen table to show you because they are so cute. They're baby deliveries. And I have to say, these are probably going to be the last baby things. Some of them were gifts, which I'll talk to you about in a sec. Um, but some of them I bought. And I think they're going to be like the last baby things that I buy because quite frankly, I don't need any more baby stuff. Um, I'd kind of forgotten I ordered some of this stuff. So some of it is um, a gift from my friend Holly, who is a blogger as well. And I haven't seen her for years, but we kind of keep in touch on online and stuff and she sent me a message last week saying her grandma had knitted um a hat for my little baby and she wanted to send it to me so she sent me this package and it's honestly the cutest thing ever so i'm going to show you that in a sec and then i also forgot i actually ordered a load of stuff from the white company a friend of a friend had like a 50 percent off discount and they were like oh do you want to use it so I ordered a load of baby stuff and I kind of like I, I remember that I'd ordered it but I kind of forgotten what I'd ordered if that makes sense like I just kind of like ordered it and then been like oh it's taken like a month to come so so many cute things I'm gonna show you so first of all for the stuff from Holly look at this amazing picture this is her grandma with the knitted hat um how sweet is that and then she sent me a card um and a little note I just ran out of battery at possibly the most annoying time there Anyway, the hat that Holly's Oma grandma um, knitted for me. How sweet is that? So cute, so cute. Um, and she also sent a few gifts as well. I just can't, I'm so touched by this. It's so kind of her. Um, she sent me this little dude who's like a spotted pig, like a soft toy piggy bank. Sweet. And then she sent a few bits of clothes from Old Navy, which I'm excited about because we don't have Old Navy in England and they're really cute. This is like a little shirt romper that's embroidered sweet and then the next thing is my favorite i love this it's like a little biker jacket like a black biker jacket and black baby clothes are so hard to find um that's in six to twelve months and then look at this as well she sent this really cute um cream starry vest i love it so much massive massive thank you tolly you're so kind i like i was absolutely blown away when i received this so sweet um and then the white company stuff that i ordered I actually got quite a lot of stuff and I'd completely forgotten. Like I said, I had 50% off, so I kind of went a bit crazy. Um, the white company is normally really expensive, so having 50% off is like amazing. Um, the first thing I got were these tights, um, this double pack, which is like one is kind of like cream um, textured effect kind of vibe. And then the other one is like dusky pink. And then I also got this vest, which I absolutely love in three to six months. I've got quite a lot of um, dresses in three to six months. And um, I absolutely love having like collared vests underneath them. And this is really pretty because it's got, look at this detail. It's like silvery detail around the edge. So nice. This jumper, this is in six to nine. A lot of them are in six to nine actually because um, I've got quite a lot of, the smaller size stuff so i've ordered some bigger stuff how sweet is this it's got these little glittery hearts on the sleeves super cute it says love on it i got this dress which i actually ordered way before my baby shower um, and my friend iris ended up buying this for me for my baby shower but she bought it in naught to three and then this is in six to nine so i'm gonna keep it anyway because it's super cute and now she can wear it at two different ages it's just like a red corduroy dress and then it's got these embroidered, um, like Peter Pan, um, or this embroidered Peter Pan vest underneath it. And then lastly for the dresses, how beautiful is this? There's like a velvet, silver velvet dress with, look at this smock detail, so, so pretty. This is in six to nine as well, so she won't be wearing it for quite a while. And then last but not least, this is in naught to three, so she'll be wearing this very very soon um this is just a little furry onesie super super cute it's got bare ears no more shopping for me mike's abandoned us guys what are we gonna do piggy sleep apparently doing a little bit of festive wrapping getting involved here on the floor as i said before doing a little bit every day the news is on it's very very loud guys it is that time again I'm totally addicted to having baths at the moment. I think having baths when you are basically full-term pregnant is probably the best thing in the world. It just takes the weight off all of your body and your bump and it just makes you feel amazing. And the baby also 
gets really active when I'm in the bath. She like kicks and stuff. It's really nice. Loving it. I'm gonna take my makeup off, get in the bath, and chill the hell out. Every single time I drop this dressing gown on the floor when I'm about to get in the bath, this one magically appears out of nowhere and snuggles up in it. Can't blame you, I stole it from Mike. <laughs> Just come downstairs to this one with dinner ready and waiting. Yeah. Yes, Mike, you're a legend. This is a cheating risotto, but it smells so good. And in case you're wondering about said stolen dressing gown, yes, this is the M&S men's dressing gown from my Christmas gift guide that I keep stealing off Mike because my one doesn't quite fit over my bump anymore. Um, but I was just saying how Piglet, every time I put it on the floor, Piglet's like, ooh yeah, that <laughs> gets snuggly with it. Mike has the very fancy and overpriced iPhone 10. Look at this, okay. The last few days, this phone has fallen off the side of the sofa where Mike's hand is there. Numerous times Mike's like, oh my god, I'm fed up with this. I'm putting it on the table. It just fell off the table It's moving. It's genuinely moving. That is a flat table What's wrong with this? How is it? It must be like The Look at it. it's material on the back. It's moving very slowly, but it is moving. This is weird Look at it. Is it a ghost phone? Is it just, I mean, it's very slow. Maybe there's someone that stood on the top of it just now. It's very strange. Stop putting my phone wherever you are. Guys, I've got a problem. I've got a new craving of oranges. And I've got a terrible, terrible habit of uh, peeling them whilst I'm either sitting on the sofa or in bed and leaving a pile of orange peel next to me. They're just so good. I really want another one, but I'm just really full. I'm too full to eat another one, but I really want another one. I haven't felt this way about craving food since really early in my pregnancy when I was craving watermelons. I don't know why, the cravings had gone, but now they are back, and all I want are giant Nivelle oranges. Good job of oysters, mate. I mean, maybe it's the vitamin C. I think it might also be um, hydration as well, which I think it was with the watermelon, because I haven't been drinking enough water, hence. I've nearly finished this bottle of sparkling water now because I'm aware of the fact I'm not drinking enough. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We're going to London. Yay. Hello there. Good morning, guys. I haven't... think your phone is not well, It's actually anymore. afternoon. It's definitely lunchtime. It's definitely lunchtime. We definitely just ate lunch and I definitely didn't start my vlog until lunchtime today. How because... disgraceful. <laughs> um, we basically just had a bit of a flustered morning. We just got to London, we ended up on a PAX train, Mike had to sit on the floor. Which was delightful. He was very gentlemanly and gave me the seat, which, to be honest, at like I think nearly a nine months' rest. Like <laughs> complaint. Part of him giving me the seat um, we are on our way to the hospital for a checkup, and then we have some fun things to do in London today. And like this one, you're looking, suit. can I just say, you, sir, are looking very handsome today. <laughs> Mike's wearing this, oh my god, there's loads of people in here. Hang on, stop walking, stop walking. Mike's wearing his coat that I bought him for Christmas. Two years ago? It's too dark in here. There you go, now you can see him in all his glory. Doesn't he look handsome? Outfit of the day from Mike, and he's got a present for our friend James, who we're going to see. Uh -huh. Christmas present. So we just got out of the baby checkup. All good, all going to plan. Um, we had a little update and a chat about exactly like what's gonna happen and obviously if you guys haven't watched my baby updates you might know I'm having a section so like what happens in theatre and all of that and I actually feel good about it a bit nervous <laughs> but good at the same time um, so yeah that's what's happening now I'm on my way to a meeting with the lovely ladies from Chanel Beauty and Mike is going to pick up his tuxedo Indeed. fancy pants um, <laughs> guys follow me on Instagram stories you might have seen last week we were trying on suits or tuxedos Mike's bought himself a new tuxedo for Christmas I have, I've had it. he looks very handsome in it I've edited, so I've got to go try it on so yeah do you want to take my vlog camera and vlog it no on another note when you have scans this late into pregnancy I'm like 36 weeks now it's so rubbish because you just literally don't get to see anything you get to see like the whole like torso or like you just don't get to see the whole baby all in one you get like a a nose and it's just not exciting like it was in the early days when you see the little baby now it's like Blob. what is that oh it's a leg really it looks like a like brain <laughs> I don't know but yeah it's basically all a big blur Mike's working in the car which is why he's not paying attention Quite and looking really rude 
Hello. What is it with you and zooming cameras <laughs> in my face all the time? We never do you, we never go like Again, trouble. Ah. Guys, we're having a super fancy afternoon tea. Look how good this looks. It's so festive in here as well. And look who I found. Oh, hello there. Hello. Fancy a bit of tea? We've got some sandwiches, scones, these things look amazing. And there's also some kind of pasties and deviled eggs over there, which I'm definitely going to eat all of. You guys can just forget them. This no chance. Oh my god, guys, this is a giant Ferrero Rocher. Possibly the most delicious thing ever. It's like chocolate mousse and nuts and caramel. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys, that was a journey and a half home. We ended up on wow. in... Mike's just seen what I was about to show you. We ended up in a massively, massively busy train again. So we couldn't sit next to each other, but I did manage to find a seat. But I just got home and I've been sent a Christmas present from Cordelie. Um, you guys might have seen me talking about um, the Tay de Vin fragrance in one of my latest videos. I think it was like a haul video and I bought the shower gel. Look what they sent me. How exciting. They sent me the perfume, the shower gel and the body lotion. Basically, I'm going to smell amazing. And these also arrived, which... On a side note, we live quite a long way from London. They've been couriered from London and they still look like this. I cannot believe it. Can I also point out one great thing about those? What? Is that they're chocolate cake and you don't like chocolate cake, which means I get to get all you, six. You say I don't like chocolate cake, but these look like they could be. No, you won't like them. I think I might no, like them. No, you won't like them at all. <laughs> they look so good. They're from Peggy Portion, which is like a really fancy cupcake. Look how much icing they've got on them. They look amazing, beautiful. And this one has got his suit. Swanky Burberry suit, mister. Yeah, or his tuxedo. Tuxedo. Can we have a look at it? Oh, <gasps> uh, it's so beautiful. Have to wait till Tuesday for its uh, mystical adventure. Oh. I wonder why we're going to need it. I hate to break it to you, Mike, but on closer inspection and with a sniff test, these cupcakes are actually gingerbread. Cupcakes. I mean that's great news because which I love means gingerbread. I'm gonna eat them. Oh, well, <laughs> you're going to eat one of them. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna eat any tonight because we've had a lot of cake today. Hey, look, can I just point this out though? How What's nice that? is the they wrapped up this packaging? They wrapped up your bow tie and my shirt. Look how nice they look. You, this, you know, it's Christmas in like two weeks. I just got, I just got cupcake icing. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it you know matters. No, it's Christmas in like two weeks. Yes, but you're buying yourself presents. I mean. <laughs> Like, you don't do it all the year round? <laughs> Especially gift wrapped. Did you miss me, pig? Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> Up the nose! Oh, pig -like. Personal space was never a thing with you, was it, baby? That's nicer. That's nicer than sticking your tongue up my nose. You're very cute, bigger. You're very cute. Happening again, guys. The orange addiction. I actually had two of these left in the fridge and I've just realized one was gone off. So now I just have this one and it made me very sad. Yes? And no, I will not be going down to the shops again. <laughs> Mike was like, film me, I've got something to add. Are you sure? I mean... Yes, very oh. sure. Oh. Look at pigs, I'll do it. Will you go and get me some more oranges? Like, yes. Oh, piggy. You would if you could drive. Guys, you know you're getting old when you've got a new favourite programme and it's Mary Berry's Country Houses where she goes round stately homes and cooks. It's my favourite programme. This is the third episode we've watched and it's so good. I love it. She did Highclere Castle, which is the house that um, Downton Abbey was filmed in. Um, it's the first one and it's really good. I really like it. Getting old, but it's good. I just fell asleep here lying on the sofa and I wake up. And what is Mike watching? But Forged in Fire, Piglet. Forged in Fire, we don't want to watch that. No. Oh, here she comes. That's going to be it, guys, for Vlogmas part two. Piglet's a fan. You're a fan of kisses. Oh, was I asleep? Oh, Piggy. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.